Education stops society from falling apart. It teaches you how to behave. You must achieve in education or you will never get anywhere in life. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 Yes. Well, we believe the school mirrors the workplace, don't we? Quite. Yes, quite. quite. Right. Yes, we, we think that the school and the workplace are based on a strict hierarchy strict. and the same patterns of obedience and yes. power. Yes, we do. Quite. 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 Each has the same values, oh, yeah. the workplace and the school have the same, same you know, opinions. opinions. Right, such quite. as punctuality, hard work, and appropriate dress. Like, quite. Like we're really smart. Quite right. Yes. Yes. That's good. Right. Right. Okay then. Okay. He's not here, miss. Okay, Sam? Here. Go. Uh, Becky? Yes, miss. Slut. Uh, Lauren? Yeah. Chow. And Helen. Yeah, yes, miss. Geek. I totally love learning. And there's maths, and, and two plus two is four, and two times two is six, and nine times nine is twelve, and twelve times twelve, fourteen. Oh. You will never guess what happened to me today. I've got two things to say to you, actually. Are you alright? Right, basically, Sally, that's Sally in sociology, she was such a bitch to me that she was like, you did this, you did that, you did this. You. I was like, no, I didn't. And she's like, yes, you did. I was like, no, you didn't. And she's like, yes, I And I was like, oh. Like, Why are you not listening to me? Death yeah, is life. Death is what? Life is pain. Right, okay. Um, I'll show you what I found today. Right, there's this article in here from this woman called Valerie. What does that say? Valerie Head. Valerie Head. Basically, she said that she got loads of notes from girls they passed in the class and found that you know, we were all stereotypical girls. Well, I'm not a stereotypical girl, am I? I don't bitch. Do I? I don't bitch. I don't chat. I don't talk all the time about Sally. Like Sally in sociology, she's bitching and she talked all the time. And she comes in drunk as well. I mean, who does she think she is? And also, also, it says that girls, girls like me, uh, we always set out to get attention from boys. I do not do that, do I? I mean, well, you tits away. That Ben in sociology, he just stares at me anyway. He's hot, isn't he? Don't you think he's hot? I can't believe that Miss said I was a slut. Can you believe that? Mm -mm. Well, I think I might just be a slut now. That's what Rosenthal and Jacobson said to do. Mm -hmm. You self fulfill your prophecy, girlfriend. Anti school subcultures are developed by negative labelling, such as being called a lesbian or a dyke. This could push negatively motivated students into educational. See? See? Yes. See? Oh. F Sam, very disappointed. Damn, damn kids of Afro-Caribbean heritage doing worse than their white counterparts. So 
you had it, what you do at the weekend? Well, I'd go up for to get smashed here on Saturday night, and then um, I was going to go back Holland's, and Audra was just like, wow, bang, tidy guy, yeah, and he's so good, and then going to wake in the morning and have wake and bake, you know. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Lloyd's and have a few drinks and then go back to Holland. Oh really? Yeah. And then wake up in the morning and smoke some cocaine. Oh, how fun! See you later. This is an example of restricted code, where it is simple grammar that only a few people can understand when it is used in the right context. Whereas this is elaborated code. It can be understood by anyone as it uses proper grammar from the English language. I and Bob interviewed black working class children and found that when they were comfortable in conversing, they were often able to express their sophisticated ideas. Oh my goodness, yes! <laughs> Therefore, when children felt unable to fit in, they were often disadvantaged in language. What are you talking about, Bridget? I eat! Well, my ideal student is polite, hardworking, well dressed, well managed, and well. Why are you underachieving? Because it's uncool to work hard. It's threatening my masculinity. Really? What about the school? They should be doing something. No. no. School and education only benefit girls. And why is that? because they have a lot of female teachers, perhaps? Yeah, female yeah. teachers. Oh, yeah. Female subjects. Like yeah. cooking, for example, because okay. you have a condom on your head. Yeah. Um, and also, um, teachers only expect girls to work hard. Boys aren't expected to get good grades, so why should I bother? Well, you don't have to follow everyone else, you know. I don't want to stand out. So why do you feel you're doing so well in school? Oh, because there's so much less discrimination, like sex discrimination, because it used to be really bad. Oh, and also, um, there's like more role models for girls, like with girls getting better jobs, like that woman in The Apprentice, she's really successful. Mm -hmm. And how do your friends feel about this? Oh, they're all the same. We really want to push ourselves, so they really help me get forward in life. And that's why I'm just doing so well. The Foster Act developed elementary schools where children were able to get access to education for free until they were... The Butler Act created the tripart system that consisted of grammar schools, secondary technical schools and secondary modern schools. Students were assigned to these schools based on their 11 plus results. During the 1950s, comprehensive schools were developed in order to educate all children no matter what their background. The Education Reform Act attempted to marketise education to parents. It also brought in league tables where people could look at how well schools did. And also the national curriculum was brought in with it. The Education Post emphasises three different schools, the Specialist School, the Faith School and Trust Schools. It also introduced EMA. Faith schools are based on religion, grammar schools are based on ability, and state schools are based on catchment areas. Gewitz, Baller and Bowie uh, found that most middle class parents were skilled or semi-skilled choosers. Um, with wealth, experience and contacts to get their children into the schools of their choice, using appealing if necessary. But they also found that working class parents tended to be disconnected choosers, making less informed decisions. Faith organisations. People praise their higher grades and also that they preserve cultures but critics say that segregation is bad and it's keeping people clumped together
private schools. Some argue that they are free from political agendas, while others argue that meritocracy is impossible. Some say business and industry give schools more money, but critics argue that business has no place in education. More ethnic minorities and working class children use vocational pathways, but this gives the government an easy way of creating low unemployment. Sociology revision! Sociology meerkat.